Today we're going to go over how to install the LG T138. It's the, uh, the brake pad that gets mounted onto your brake pedal and then attaches to the harness that you ran through the RXV. On the RXV brake pedal, you're going to see the ridges. When we line up our brake pad, we want to line up the holes to mount in between the channels. That way we have a little bit more of a uh, bigger surface area to actually mount the brake pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up. We're going to go through and mark. Now that we've marked where we need to drill, we're going to go through with a 3 16th drill bit. All right, now that we have our holes drilled, we're going to go ahead and line up our brake pad again. And then we're going to start using our rivets to secure it in place. All right, once we have our rivets in place, we're just going to gently hammer them in. All right, now that we have our brake pad mounted to our brake pedal, we're going to route the wire behind the brake assembly that way it's out of the way do even a quick test run as you're running it just to make sure it's not getting caught up in any type of linkage and then we're going to connect it to our harness now you might have a little bit more access depending on how uh, you ran your harness here we have a little bit so we're going to take a zip tie and zip tie to this wire off to the side and then just cut off the excess and the installation is complete I'm going to go through the installation instructions for the LG T160 which is the brake light switch for the RXV gas cart. As you can see, you'll have all kinds of good stuff in here. You want to get that cleaned out and make sure that your work area is free and clear. Nothing's going to hold you up. So you're going to need a couple different tools to do this. You're going to need a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter open-ended wrench, one or the other. So either one of those, a socket or a wrench, will work for you. So you want to first start off by locking your brake. So I'm going to start by loosening up the 10 millimeter bolt here. Basically, you're going to loosen this side up all the way, remove the 10 millimeter. You want to take the other side and you just want to loosen it. Just a turn or two, just enough, maybe a little more than that. Um, just loosen it up a bit. So then you're going to take your 6 millimeter Allen wrench and you want to remove it. At that point, you want to take your, take your switch you want to slide it underneath, underneath your, your stop bar here, and then you want to slide it to where your holes line up. So basically just finger tighten that. You want to take your 10 millimeter, you want to tighten that, then you're going to tighten them both up. You don't want to tighten completely, you just want to tighten partially so you can still adjust it. And set, the, and set the position for the brake. So at this point in time, you want to release the brake so, so you can see what kind of adjustment you need. So basically what you want, you want to have a slight travel, a slight bit of travel before the brake switch is actually activated. You'll be able to hear that in the micro switch when it's activated. So you want to, every, if your foot's barely resting on the pedal, you don't want the brake switch activated. You want it activated when you depress the pedal. So you want to so right here, I've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of play there. That's where you want to set that. So I'm, I've moved my, I've adjusted my bracket. So then you want to take your six millimeter bolt, tighten that down. Also, you want to make sure they're snug and secure. Of course, this is your brake system, so you don't want to leave it loose. You don't want to go crazy either. Just hand, just snug it tight. So we have our brake switch now installed, adjusted and tightened up. We're going to fish the wires through the small hole in the pedal box group here. We want to make sure when we do that that it's free and clear of the linkage and the mechanism here so it's not pinching anything anywhere. So 
What we're going to do, we're going to run this up along and through right next to right next to the brake switch wires on the LGT699. This is your plug and play harness right here that you installed that you installed when you got your light kit or you installed previous uh, prior to putting your uh, your brake switch on here. So basically what you want to do, you want to bring that up through here. Let's leave that loose for now because we've got a couple other things we need to do in here and need to arrange some wires. So next at this point we're going to go, we're going to install the time delay. This is an LGT142 time delay. Just a little explanation as to why this is used. On a gas car when you set your brake, your, when you set your brake, your brake switch is constantly activated. If you left your car for four days without this time delay, the brake light would stay on. What this does is when you set your brake, when you walk away, it allows your brakes to stay, your brake lights to stay on for one minute and 30 seconds to two minutes, then it turns the brake lights off. So just a little safety feature there so it doesn't run your batteries dead. So the LGT142 time delay, we have a quarter inch 20 bolt that comes in your kit along with a serrated quarter inch nut. So you want to put your you want to put your bolt through the actual mounting tab on the brake time delay. It's a little tight in here so basically you want to squeeze this between the brake cables. You'll see there's already a hole here, a quarter inch 20 hole. Sometimes when they mold it the hole might be a little bit tight. You may take a screwdriver and just, just run it through there just to open it up a little bit. If you had to you could use a quarter inch drill bit but usually you can just push the bolt right through. So we're going to get this lined up Get this lined up with the hole. I'm going to use, just because it's, to it's tough to get your hands down in there with everything else, I'm going to use a wrench just to press that down through there. You can see where that snugs in. So we have our quarter inch bolt through the, through the hole in the floorboard that's already there. You're going to need a 7 16 wrench or 7 16 socket, either one. You want to go ahead and just tighten that up from underneath. So we now have our time delay re relay mounted. We're going to use the LGT 142H, the harness to connect the brake switch to the 699 harness to the time delay. This is the piece that bridges everything together. So basically you, basically you want to plug the 142H into the 699 harness here. So then you have a couple other wires here. So you have a black wire, a red wire, and a brown wire. Your black wire, this is your ground wire. It's going to go to the wire here on your 699 harness. You basically plug that in, connect that. You want to make sure it's a nice snug tight. It's, they, they both have boots on them so it seals. You got a lot of grind, cr you know, cruddy stuff going on down here. So you want to make sure that that's all tight and good to go. So then, at that point in time, you're going to take from your time, to, from your time delay, you want your brown wire, your brown wire coming from your 142H, to go to your brown wire on your time delay. So you're going to connect that. So then, at that point in time, you have two wires left. You have a black wire and a red wire. So your black wire goes to your black wire, your red wire goes to your red wire. So then all the connections are made, everything works there, you're good to go. So you just want to make sure, release your brake, check this here, make sure everything's good there. You have quite a few wires here. Everything here is sealed. They're all they're all connect you know they're all connectors that are all weather. But when you do this, we have a couple wire ties, your kit comes with those. We want to wire tie these out of the way to where they're not going to interfere with anything. Your brake cable is fine to tie to in this area. Brake cable moves a little bit, but there's no, all the movement in your brake cable is up in the brake area itself. So you just want to take one of the wire ties, or two if you like, there's plenty of them for the whole kit, and just snug that tight there. This all gets covered by your brake pedal, by your brake pedal cover, so everything's good there. You have your snips from where you removed, from where you removed your rivets earlier. So just snip that off, make sure there's nothing loose dangling there. The biggest thing is you want to make sure that nothing is interfering with anything else. That you have linkages here, mechanisms here. If you leave one of your wires in there, it's going to create a problem. So make sure everything's snug, nice, neat, tucked out of the way. So in my hand we have your LGT161 brake switch for your RXV electric vehicle. We're going to go ahead and th go through the installation process for that. So. First thing you want to do is you want to unpackage your LGT-161 brake switch. Um, what we've done, we've kind of cheated here a little bit, we've taken off the rocker panel and then we've removed the, the floor mat, we've rolled the floor mat back, we've removed the access cover is what we've done here. Uh, in order to remove the access cover there are rivets, plastic rivets that hold that down. You want to make sure when you remove them, if you want to reuse them, use a tool of some sort to where you won't, uh, won't cut them or break them so you can use those for reinstallation. 
The first step in installation, um, you want to make sure that your car is in the off position. You want to make sure that it's in the that it's in the tow position. You do not want to install your brake switch while the vehicle is in the run position. You're working where the accelerator is, where the brake is. It's bad business to be working down here um, without your vehicle's uh, system shut down. You want to go ahead and on your brake here, you have a stop bracket. You want to go ahead and loosen the, the driver's side of that bracket. Uh, bolt there. So you don't want to remove them all the way to start. You just want to loosen them up a bit. You also want to come over to the other side and loosen them um, just a tad, not too much. So then you have a 10 millimeter, same thing on the passenger side. You want to go ahead and just, just loosen a little bit, enough to give us some flexibility here. Then you want to loosen this. At this point in time, you want to go ahead and remove them. Now there is some pressure on the pedal, so you want to make sure that you want to just push back a little bit on that. It's not enough pressure to where it's going to cause any issues. So you want to hold on to that hardware for reinstallation. So now we have our brake switch bracket here. So the bracket is going to slide down underneath of the OE bracket. So I want to make sure right now I'm getting hung up on the cable here. You want to make sure you're not hung, hung up or having any issues. Now, if you notice, the bracket's slotted. So that's to give you your adjustment. Every pedal will be a little bit different. So basically what you want to do, you want to slide that underneath the factory bracket. You want to get that lined up, get your holes all lined up there. Put your factory hardware back in. We're not going to tighten this up. We're just going to install this loose until we can find out where we want it set. So basically what you want to do you want your brake switch, when your brake is depressed, the switch should be made. I don't know if you can hear that in the video or not, but right now it's set perfectly where it is. So it's, you want basically about a quarter inch, half inch before your brake is activated. That's exactly what you have right there. So, so that's a good positioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock down the 10 millimeter hex head bolt there. Now the cap head screw, it's an 8 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and lock that down. I'm going to go ahead on the opposite side, do the same thing. You want to make sure that these are tight. So everything's tightened up. Now you've got a tight you want to check. Once again, it, it, it's right in line with where it should be. No issues there at all. Once you have that done, you want to go ahead and you want to route this down and around. You want to go underneath. There's there's a gray wire here that's for the uh, that's for the sensor uh, on your brake. You want to go ahead and just follow that sensor wire right around. There's a little notch here in your a uh, little notch here in your um, pedal group box. You want to slide it right through that notch. Put that there. Here we have your LGT699. This is the brake switch connector. So this is what we've already run this through the uh, this we've already run this along the frame. On this, you'll find a connector. You'll also find a uh, you'll find a ground. The ground's not used for this. If you're using a time delay, this is a, a universal model that we have for uh, for several different gas and electric vehicles. We we'll use a time delay on the gas car. On the electric, you don't need that. So that ground is not going to be used. So same thing. You want to route this up and out of the way. You bring this over here. Basically, connect it. Once you connect it, it locks in. And then with one of the wire ties that was included with your kit. You want to secure that. I recommend wrapping this ground back around. Tying that tight. You don't want it so tight that, that you can't have a little flexibility in your uh, flexibility in your wires here, but you want it enough to where you can see here where you're not going to run into anything along uh, along the lines of interference with your brake mechanism. So that pretty much wraps up uh, the installation. If you want, you can take another wire tie, run it along here attach this to your to your sensor wire there just to make sure that it's not uh, that it's not going to ride up it's not going to ride up and interfere with anything so you want to snip these two wires off and get that taken care of so that's out of your way that pretty much concludes the installation of your lgt 161 brake switch uh, that's it please enjoy safely